All right. Today I'm going to do a demonstration about linear perspective drawing and particularly I will do a demo about one point linear perspective drawing. So I'm going to show you what the demonstration will be of here, the result of it. So we see these objects um, receding in space and we see that the larger they are the closer they appear to us and the further the, the the further away they are the smaller the objects are and i also use color here to continue that illusion of depth that our lines are allowing us to have and i'll show you uh, the actual um, um line drawing here okay and this is this can be done whether you are using a uh, pencil and paper or like me right now i'm using a, an ipad drawing tablet so either way you can have a lot of fun drawing linear perspective so i'm gonna pull up uh, a document and i have my grid on if you are um, drawing by hand you can you may choose to draw with um, a straight edge and a piece of paper and a pencil or even draw the lines free form but you want to try to get them sort of similarly to straight as possible um, but you can draw with a paper pencil by itself or paper pencil and ruler or like i'm doing with the um with the tablet and i'm going to put um, start off by creating a horizon line and I will do that in um, a blue first just so that you can see it and I'm going to do it sort of around a little bit above the um, center of the document so you see me holding my my point there so that I can get that straight line and now I'm going to move and I'm going to do a um, vanishing point as I said this is a one point um, a one-point perspective drawing so I'll just put it in the center and now I'm going to go ahead and get another layer and I'm going to begin in black actually let's get a black um, to draw my shapes that I want to then um, transform to the illusion of depth so to transform them to forms um, in a moment so I am going to start off with the objects that are going to be the closest to me, which are here, and I'm going to make those appear to be bigger than the objects that are further away. So um, as you're watching me do this, um, it's a good idea to watch me do it the first time and then the second time you may want to watch this again so that you can try it. Now what I'm doing now is I'm drawing a square. It's a smaller one than the one that is to the left. Um, but I'm drawing this one um, on the horizon line or at eye level or horizon line or eye level for us and then I'm going to do one last shape above the horizon line I need to anchor my hand um, there we go all right, and so that one is even smaller because again these uh, these shapes that I've drawn I see them as being closer and further away. So the ones that are further away are are look appear to be smaller. Okay, and now that I've drawn these shapes, I'm going to now use linear perspective to transform them into forms or at least the illusion of forms on my 2D surface. And the way that I'm doing that, yes, I am using orthogonal lines and um, or conversion parallel lines. And so we know that 
With linear perspective drawing, we know that what we're drawing is what the human eye is seeing, the way the human eye sees space and depth versus what we know space to be. So the good example of that, of course, are parallel lines, right? We know that parallel lines actually never meet in space, but we're drawing them as they are converging onto that vanishing point because that's the way our eye sees the world. So now that I have um, my parallel lines converging to my vanishing point, I'm going to begin to determine how much depth I want for each form. Where does the form really end? And so I'm going to use some parallel lines to do that. I think I'm going to have to redraw that one. Okay. And I can draw each one with a different depth. They don't all have to be the same. And this is sort of just the beginning because once you do this piece, you can then try a two-point perspective and three-point, which I'll show you afterwards. So now that I have those, you can, especially if you have, um, if you're drawing on paper, you can simply just erase these lines now uh, and you can obviously do this in on the tablet as well but I'm actually going to do something a little different for what I'm doing for the sake of what I'm doing I'm actually going to copy these lines copy this layer and I'm going to um, paste it just so that I have I can keep those lines and you can still see them later on. And with that, I'm going to erase the top layer. And I'm going to make my brush a little bit bigger so I can do some of this a little quicker. Right? So you can still see the under layer and I can lower the opacity, but it's just so that you can sort of see what I'm doing. And again, um, because I'm recording it, you can see it over and over again. Right? So that's there. I'm going to stay there. And I'm going to lower my eraser so that I can get a little bit more accurate. OK. And I'm not going to erase each one just for the sake of time. But once I do this, I, can, I know that you can see what I'm doing. But I would erase all of these so that I can complete that. And that's when I would begin to do either shading or um, coloring. And so I can do monochromatic. Um, using one color in black and whites, or I can just do some shading if you are drawing um, pencil and paper. And um, I'll start off with blue just because it's right here. And what I'll do is I'm going to create some depth to this one. And I think I'll do it this way. Get some depth there. And I'm going to get another layer and make this a little bit bigger and begin to paint that in here. OK. And usually I would actually put the color layer underneath the line so that it's a little easier to keep the line popping out. This way I'm going to really zoom in and I'm going to erase that a little bit. I'll do that in one moment here. And let's bring that down because, you know, nobody wants to have that. Okay. Bring this down.
Okay. So yeah, this may be the first time you've done linear perspective, or you may have you may be a pro at it. Either way, um, linear perspective really allows us as artists to really create depth and really also helps us create focal strong focal points on our, in our work and it doesn't matter if we are doing drawings and paintings or if we are um, doing um, photo photography and film or game design or anything we tend to use to employ the principles of um, linear perspective in this way i'm just gonna see if i can clean up this line a little bit A little bit more. So um, with that, I'm going to bring this back. And what I would like you to do is to, as I said, either with shading um, or with um, color, do um, this some of the do the boxes or the cubes um, where they um, are with the lights to dark. So the the side is receding back and so I made that darker and then the top let's go make sure that I'm on that layer and let's beef this up a little bit and then I would begin to color that okay and I'll go back to the finished piece so you can see that okay oopsie there we go. So here, this is what we ended up drawing. And then what I'm saying is I started doing the coloring where we see that the dark sides are showing that recession. We can see on top of this form because it is below the horizon line. And then of course we see more of a pure hue here because um, it is it is um, in front of us. We see that the objects that are closer to us are ac actually larger than the objects that are further away. Now, um, I talked about one point. I, I mentioned two-point linear perspective here, and I want to show you that one. And you know, you can kind of take it and keep going and create a building and and create more things. But this is where I'm having my vertical lines. Um, converging at my vanishing points on the the, vari the horizon line, but then I have this view that is of um, a bird's eye view. So it's from the top where the horizon line is actually all the way up here, and uh, this this is a sort of person looking down, and so the vanish the third vanishing point is below the horizon line. Right, and sometimes the third vanishing point is below or above the vanishing line, and so that can be seen here. Okay, where um, we have a vanishing our, our horizon line, and we have our vanishing points on either side, and the third one is above the horizon line. I keep saying the vanishing line, but I mean the 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 horizon line. And um, so this is shown from ground view where the person is looking up, right? Versus the bird's eye view, person's looking down. And, you know, continue to build out the, your work and um, build it out and put some colors and some shading on it so that ultimately you have something that you are happy with. And um, this is actually one of my pieces as well. I mean, obviously all of these are my pieces, but that's one of the pieces that I put a little bit more time on as well. So take a look, try it out now, um, replay this while you're working so that you can see it, and then put in the chat if you like, how'd you do? Because I, I'd like to know how, how it went for you. All right? All right. Thank you for taking time to watch my demonstration. Bye now.